summer has arrived. Thought I'd show you that little glimpse outside. You know, I don't live in a cave or whatever. So, <clears throat> this place right here. How's it going? It's me, Matt. <clears throat> so, it is day 70 on Accutane on 60 milligrams. Uh, and I'm here to give you guys a little update again. So, how are you guys? I kind of missed you. Did you miss me? Probably not. But let's move on. Uh, things are going um, smooth and well, as usual, um, which is fantastic. It's just what I hope for, and I'm just getting that much closer to where my goal is. And that is to have clear skin once again. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I told you in my first video, but uh, I have dealt with uh, acne for, I would say, about a good five years now. Uh, not pleasant, hated it. Tried everything I could, and this is why I am on Accutane. So if you're thinking, oh, why is this guy on it? This camera is, you know, it's not uh, high resolution, so what you're seeing is, you know. But it is obviously improved. It's so much better than what it was on my uh, day four or month one video or any other video really before this. It just continually uh, gets better, which is definitely amazing. So, um, what is up? Well, here is my skin. I guess I'll show you. There it's better lighting. So as you can see, all the scars and the red marks are um, fading, which is, uh, well, it's just great. <laughs> um, this one right here, that's the only one on the chin right now. For some reason, there's like a little red mark on the, the neck there. I've never had anything on my neck, so that's going to go away soon. That won't be a problem. Uh, forehead, everything is just smooth, except that one stupid little bugger. Um, so once that one moves on, then everything is back to smooth, because this came up about a day ago, yesterday. So I don't know how long it's going to take to go away, but whatever. So yeah, everything is just doing amazing. Here's the other side, if you didn't see it. It's all just post marks. There's nothing active so it's just I haven't uh, ever had this feeling in a long time um, things I guess people might have asked earlier in some emails uh, do I have a special diet no I avoid vitamin A uh, as much as I can I hear tomatoes cont contain um, vitamin A but I can't keep away from the pizza and pasta or lasagna or anything that, you know. I'm guessing they mean if you have tons of it, then that's when it's really going to kick in and affect you. So I've been trying my best to avoid it, but I haven't taken it out of my diet completely. Um, huge myth about acne and stuff like that. I don't. I still eat, you know, candy bars and whatnot. So, you know, Kit Kat, ice cream sandwich or whatever. Um... But I do, I, I keep it, you know, strict. I don't eat it every day. Uh, my diet consists of mainly these, about six glasses at least of water. Um, that's what keeps me going. I got my water. I have two cups of green tea in the morning. Uh, that's good for the hair as well as many other things. Cleans the system. Um, I go to the bathroom as much as I can. Um, and yeah, just anything I can to clean the system and make sure it's nice and healthy. Um, when I got back from my uh, doctor's uh, office uh, a few weeks ago, well, not weeks, but like a week or two, um, he said the blood test went excellent, so that's great. So I'm just going to continue to have lots of water to make sure the blood, uh, you know, I, f I feel like this would help. So that's what I'm doing. Um... Dryness, totally minimal. Don't have to worry about it as long as I uh, put my moisturizer on and my lip balm. Uh, lips have gotten maybe a little bit more drier. I have, I don't really know. They are dry, but they're not ridiculously dry. I apply my lip balm maybe um, 
I'd say four or five times a day, which really probably isn't a lot compared to some people who use the Aqua 4 or anything else, you know, numerous times each day. So I'm, I consider myself very lucky. I'm thankful for that uh, on that part. And uh, so, yeah, um, dandruff is still there, but, I mean, it's it's nothing. Come on, guys, let's get serious. Um, as long as I've got hair on my head, then that's good. That's what I. That's all I care about for that section. Um, my back and chest have completely cleared, which is fantastic. I really didn't have much on it, the odd one and two, three, you know. Um, but it is good to have, you know, it all cleared. Um, I've also, yeah, my hands actually. Very hard to see, but it's kind of a a rash in a way. And it's specifically usually this hand. This hand did have it, but now it's pretty much repaired itself. It's back to normal. Um, so yeah, today the weather is amazing. It's 22 degrees, I think, today. So we're starting to really get into summer weather. And things are looking up, so it's great. However... Um, this morning when I went out to do the, the lawn for the first time, um, it was about 11.30, and the sun was out, clear clear sky, beautiful weather, but while you're on Accutane, you don't necessarily want to have the sun on your, your face, or anywhere on your body for that matter. So I did wear my long sleeve shirt when I was mowing the lawn, um, and I was out there for probably a good 20 minutes. And when I came back in, things were all right. So I went out again um, to the shop since I have, I'm off school now. And I didn't work today, so I just took the car out and went for a drive to check up on a few things. I went to get some money, actually, which I'll show you in a minute. But when I came back, um, I did notice, maybe on the side of the car, um, my face had a red, very minor red tint to it, specifically on this section. So I really got to be careful. I did apply my um, Cetaphil SPF 50 moisturizer. Maybe I didn't put enough on. I'm not really sure. But I think now it's sort of balanced out. It's gone away and it's back to normal. So that's good. I just Maybe that's a, a reminder to say, hey, make sure you apply um, your sunscreen or moisturizer. So um, definitely got to make sure to do that. Anyways, about that thing, I went to the bank. Uh, and the reason I did that is uh, because I'm going to, well here's a hint, that's the queen, and that's 20 British pounds. Um, and I got some more money, obviously, too. I didn't just get 20 pounds. Um, so I went there and I got some pounds, that's because I'm going to Scotland. And I'm going to Scotland, uh, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, so... On Sunday, yeah. And uh, thank God the uh, volcano ash um, at the Atlantic uh, stopped because that really would have affected our holiday and uh, that wouldn't have been not good. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to do a video there, a special edition video when, you know, Maddie 6042 across the Atlantic Ocean giving you a little update. Um... Other than that, just excited and life is good so far. Um, still keeping in contact with uh, that certain someone, uh, the certain girl right now that I'm looking at. So hopefully things between us go well. Um, and yeah, things are looking pretty good. Keeping positive. Um, hard to stay out the sun, but I'll try. So once again, my video is terribly long. I'm sorry to torture you guys like this. But I will get back to you, like I said, in a few days, since I'll be in Scotland, and I will talk to you later. Good luck, and stick with your drug. It's a miracle drug, guys, and it really does work. Just give it some time and uh, some positivity. So uh, take care, guys. Bye.